Hello and welcome to Justice. I'm Judge Shanine Pirro. Thanks for being with us. Donald Trump is going to join us in moments, but first, my open. Now, I'm not surprised anymore when President Barack Obama does things that are un-American, unconstitutional, or just plain divisive and dangerous, like releasing five of the worst Taliban in exchange for Bo Bergdahl. But I am furious when members of the United States military, the ones who swear allegiance to God and country, the ones who swear to protect all of us, bow to the political pressures of the White House and kiss the ring of a treasonous, worthless deserter. Look. We already know where Barack Obama stands on this. You remember the fanfare and that hastily arranged press conference when he repeatedly hugged Bergdahl's mother in the Rose Garden and grinned ear to ear while Bergdahl's father, an American, thanked Allah and spoke in the official language of the Taliban. Army officer Lieutenant Colonel Mark Visger, who presided over the Article 32 hearing, recommends no jail time or any punitive discharge for Bergdahl on charges of desertion and misbehavior before the enemy. A few facts. Bergdahl tells platoon mates he wants to join the Taliban and voluntarily leaves his unit during combat. He folds his clothes, takes water, protein bars, and his cell phone and a knife, leaves his weapons, and walks off. Several of his platoon mates agree he is a deserter. Afghanis tell reporters that Bergdahl came through their villages looking for the Taliban. Bergdahl actually calls his unit and says he's not coming back. How do we know this? We intercepted his phone calls. A platoon member of his said he heard it firsthand. Fact, the search for Bergdahl needlessly put soldiers' lives at risk, and there are reports that several died looking for him in that area of Afghanistan. But at the military hearing, the intercepts of the phone calls of Bergdahl speaking with the Taliban are not introduced into evidence. Major General Kenneth Dahl, assigned to investigate Bergdahl, actually testifies in his defense. And even Bergdahl does not testify in his own defense. And now it is recommended by the military that he walk. Folks, the fix is in. Bo Bergdahl is a deserter who left his unit during a time of war to join the enemy in itself a death penalty crime. Other soldiers risked their lives and reports are that some lost their lives looking for him. There is one person though who gets the final say here. This matter will be reviewed and ultimately decided by General Robert Abrams, commander of the U.S. Army Forces Command. And hopefully, he will make the right decision and recognize that this precedent is dangerous for our soldiers and our country. So you ask yourself, why would this happen? Why? I'll tell you why. Because the President of the United States cannot be seen as knowingly trading a deserter who could and should have faced death for five of the worst Taliban in Gitmo, two of whom, of whom have since tried to rejoin the Taliban. And if any of these officers, Lieutenant Colonel Mark Fisger, Major General Kenneth Dahl, or General Robert Abrams gets promoted in the next 14 months before Obama leaves, then there is the proof that the fix is in.